Well, you may know that February is National Heart Month, dedicated to keeping hearts healthy. But did you know that there's a link between your heart health and your dental health? Joining us to talk about this and other topics this morning is Dr. Steve Gorman with the American Academy for Oral Systemic Health. And it kind of makes sense to me that there will be a link between the two, but it's, it's really interesting, especially when you get into details. So what is the link? Yes. Well, we've always kind of known in dentistry that there was a link between oral health and, and systemic health. Uh, but now there's been a lot of really good research that linking the two. So the mouth is the most <clears throat> a common place for inflammation to get started, and a lot of heart, heart health problems are related to inflammation, cardiovascular issues. And so, uh, and, it's, and it's all related to bacteria, and, the, and things in the mouth get started, and they're finding the same bacteria in cardiovascular issues and, and vessel uh, walls and that sort of thing that we find in dentistry and that we're trying to control and we've been talking to patients about forever uh, in terms of, of keeping things clean and, and healthy. Yeah, so is this the type of thing <clears throat> where maybe you're looking at a, a patient's teeth in their, in their mouth and you find what could be, you know, the start to other symptoms? Sure, and you know, taking a good health history tells you some things about what's going on with patients too. And, and there are signs and symptoms of inflammation, you know, redness, soreness, um, bleeding when brushing or flossing, those kinds of things that we have been diagnosing and treating for years. And it's just, we've, we've learned that it's, it's even more important because now we re know for sure that those things are, are linked to more serious things. And it's not just heart health, it's things like diabetes and strokes and some forms of cancer. So it's, it's a really uh, important link. And the, the American Academy of Oral Systemic Health was formed to try to link physicians and doctor, uh, uh, dentists and hygienists and nurses and all allied health professionals together uh, to be aware of all these things and to work together and we're, and we're kind of speaking the same language now so it's, it's, uh, it's a fun time to, to have that camaraderie with our colleagues on the medical side. Sure thing. And then on another uh, <coughs> dental note, I mean speaking of things being linked, there's such a thing apparently called stress breath, stress yeah. leading to bad breath. What is that? Yeah. Well, this is some research that's come out in conjunction with what we're talking about with heart health, too. And uh, we've always known that, you know, bad breath comes mainly from, again, bacteria that's in your mouth. And the kind of bacteria that causes those, these problems are anaerobic bacteria, bacteria that doesn't have to have oxygen to live. They kind of, they live deep in the tissues around the teeth. And what we've, we've found from some research is that, uh, when you're under stress, your body uh, gives off uh, cortisol, a hormone that, that gets into that area too. And it actually is a, a feeder for the bacteria. And so the bacteria grow faster and multiply faster. And so if you've got, you know, that big date coming up, uh, <laughs> it's even more important to make sure that you're really wow. clean in there or you've got a big job interview or you yeah. know you're you're being interviewed on TV <laughs> <laughs> it's important that you're in really good shape yeah interesting stuff this morning dr. Gorman thanks so much for being with us thanks for having me yep we'll be back after this Very good to